I am Christina Nasika. I am a doctoral student in the School of Civil Engineering of UPC. My project is about the safety monitoring of tailings dams. A tailings dam is a special type of uh, structure that is designed for the storage of tailings, so mining waste. Uh, this material comes in the form of mud or muddy waters and is often toxic depending on the type of mining activity. So basically we're talking about embankments, embankment dams that are made of soil and they hold behind them these large reservoirs that are gradually filled with tailings. The problem is that these structures tend, tend to fail quite often and when they do, this potentially toxic material is released into the environment causing major ecological disasters and uh, as it has happened far too many times, also causing hundreds of human casualties and destroying entire villages. Uh, in order to monitor the functioning of these structures, engineers place uh, sensors in different parts of the, of the dam and these sensors measure important physical quantities such as, for example, it can be uh, deformation of the material or water pressures that are developed uh, in between the pores of the soil that uh, is the material of the dam. So we have the technology to wirelessly transmit uh, this data, the, the measurements from the sensors from the dam to a remote computer in real time. And the essential um, goal of my project is to create a model of the dam, so a digital replica that will receive these measurements and will in real time or close to real time uh, calculate, evaluate these um, important physical quantities over the entire body of the dam instead of uh, just in the spots where it was measured. So that engineers can have a very clear image of what is going on in these, in, in these vast um, structures. Now the key word here is uh, real time. We're developing methods to have our model run these calculations very, very fast. And uh, speed is very important here because we have seen that in this type of structure, hazard de develops into failure in a matter of uh, hours or minutes. So once the model has been created, the second uh, part of the project is about making it somehow an, an intelligent tool. Uh, so you see the advantage of having a model that runs calculations very fast is that you can use it, you can easily calibrate it against reality. For example, suppose that we are not sure about a certain parameter that we are using in the model and we don't know what its real value can be and um, we are worried that this might uh, compromise its accuracy. What we can do is that we can try out different possible values for this parameter and run calculations many, many times quickly and gain uh, different results for these different scenarios and see which one is the most realistic uh, depending on which one fits better with reality, reality here being represented by the, the, the sensor data itself. So this way our model will sort of uh, learn from the data that it's receiving and it will become more accurate. We can continue doing this uh, procedure over the entire course of life of the dam and the model and this way our tool will never become obsolete or inaccurate. Uh, what I really like about this project is that this idea of having a model that is perpetually linked to its uh, physical counterpart and is uh, always updated is really in line with all the latest developments in the area of asset management and infrastructure monitoring. And I really think that uh, in this particular application it can help engineers make a change uh, for the better of the safety of these structures. Thank you very much.